Hello world, you're welcome to EAB IT services. In this tutorial, we're going to look at MTN Mobile API integration. This tutorial will be part of the point of interest playlist. For this playlist, I do tutorials about things that also excite me but are not part of the mainstream line courses. Usually I do these tutorials upon request or when there is a need for me to provide training session for a group of people. So why MTN Mobile API? Well, as a developer, sometimes certain applications may require that you integrate a payment platform to allow customers to be able to make payment transactions and with MTN Momo API, you can perform Momo transactions on your app. That's just it. Okay, in this tutorial, this, these are the things we are going to cover. How you can sign up for an account. We'll look at how you can subscribe to Momo product. How you can manage your subscriptions. That is when you subscribe to those products that we'll be talking about. How you can generate API user and API key. And then we'll also touch a bit on use cases. That is where these services are applicable. All right, before we begin, I'd like us to take note about some few things. First of all, the MTN Momo API uses RESTful services. That means that you're going to make requests to APIs. And usually, you may send payloads in object form, just in object form. The second thing is that they use ISO standards for some of their enumerable variables, for instance, currency and then country code. So I'll be using Postman to make those kind of requests so that at least by the end of the tutorial, I'll have a collection that I can share with you. And lastly, the links that I'll be using within this tutorial, I'll make them available below the description. So let's begin. First of all, I'd like us to look at creating an account. That's the first thing. In order to create an account, this is the link that you will click to create an account. So you open your browser and you navigate to that page. You have to fill this information, provide this detailed email password and all of this. Fill them and then click on sign up. When you sign up, they will send you verification token to your email. You will log in into your email and then you will see the link in there. You will click on the link and then your account will be verified and activated and you will be back to this page. All right. I've already signed up. So... I'm not going to sign up again. All right. Okay, so I just logged in. Now that you have created an account, then look at how you can subscribe to MTN Momo API product. MTN, they have a lot of services that they can render to you and they like to call them product. The first thing we are going to look at is collections. There is a product called collections. This is a service that enables mobile money partners to receive payments for goods and services using MTN Momo mobile money. The services can be face-to-face -face like Momo Pay or can be done remotely uh, for both offline and online. Payments can be customer initiated on USSD, app, web, or merchant initiated where a customer is sent a debit request for approval. In this product, we are going to use O authentication too. That it, it requires O authentication too. We'll talk about authentication too as soon as uh, we get there. The next product is collection widgets. The Momo widget is a solution that enables a developer or partner to integrate a Momo Pay checkout button to accept mobile money payments on your e-commerce site. So if you have a website where you want them to be able to scan the widgets so that they can just accept the payment, then this is where you can go. So maybe you have you be able to tag your product on your page and then you scan it, then you just make your payment. It this requires the collection widget. And then this API that we use here is Momo Pay. Another product that they have is disbursement. This is a service that enables mobile money partners to send money in bulk to different recipients with just one click. Now, this setup can be manually executed, such as um, uh, that is logging into the system, uploading recipient list and trigger payment, or you can automate it. That is where you require a one-time setup of the recipient list and command to effect payment. So let's say if you have an employee that you would like to pay them through mobile money, you can use the disbursement feature to send bulk money to different recipients. The last one that we'll talk, we'll talk about is remittance. Before we go on the remittance, the disbursement collection also requires authentication 2.0. The remittance product is a solution that enables a customer to transfer or receive funds from the diaspora to mobile money recipient account in local currency. So this is an automated solution where the money is transferred in real time when the request hits the system. That works in a similar way as the automatic disbursement solution. And this also requires authentication 2.0. All right. Now, you can find your product at this link. Let's go and quickly check up so that we can 
subscribe okay so when you open their product you will see that they have collection widgets and then when you expand it tells you what the collection widget is about and you can subscribe and then when you check collections you can expand and then read about it what it says and all that you can see the full documentation and then you can click subscribe to subscribe now remember this is the page where it lists all the all their products and then you see how you can subscribe to it so let's start with one of them which is collections product so here the collections product requires O authentication 2.0 which uses bearer token as a, as a way of authenticating the user making the request to the server or the api also this collection uses these apis the validate account holder balance and then request to pay okay so in order for you to subscribe you can either click on this to expand the collections and then you can click on subscribe to subscribe or this is just simply the link then you can just click on it to subscribe all right so i'll quickly click on this link to go to and subscribe to that product or from here okay you can click on subscribe it will still take you to, to this same page so subscribe to product a new subscription will be created as follows so you read you go through everything here and then you give you type the name of the subscription that you want and this is the name i'm going to give it that will be just the name of the subscription that i'll do and please uh, read the terms of use before you subscribe to it uh, so when you agree you just check this and then click on confirm now as soon as you subscribe to this product you'll be taken to your profile to come to this page you just click on profile the same as this page that you're seeing where you can just change your password and then uh, change your account information so this is the subscription that i've done currently so your subscriptions will be listed here and the name of the subscription is collection bills fees taxes when i see the name i just know what it is about you can rename it okay so we have successfully subscribed to the collections product the next thing we're looking at is managing your subscriptions that is in when you are managing your subscriptions the page that we i just showed you there are two things here there are some things that you need to take note of your primary and then your secondary keys now these are these keys are issued to developers for every product so if you subscribe to the collection widget you will have different primary and secondary keys that you can use to uh, integrate into your application now both primary and secondary subscription key provide access to the api without one of them a developer cannot access any of the apis subscriptions are stored under the user profile and have no expiry so when you check our user profile when you click on your uh, name and then you click on profile this same page this is where you are this is the same page that you see your subscription as simple as that and this is your primary key and this is your secondary key also you have regenerating keys okay to regenerate the key that is let's say that you compromise the key or maybe or uh, accidentally you review the key somewhere somebody can use to make transactions on your behalf meanwhile to not be coming from you if you know that you have done that all you do is to click on regenerate for it to regenerate new keys as as simple as that you click you generate the primary key you click you regenerate the secondary key as well showing or hiding key details when you click on this it shows the key and then you can click on it to hide the key of course after this i'll just cancel the subscription i'll not be using it you can also cancel your subscription okay when you click on cancel that means you no longer want to subscribe to this product and then registering applications okay here when you look down you have your applications sometimes on your website okay you want to use um, the mtn collection widget on your website you come here to register your application they will validate they will go through and know that okay this is your application that you want to integrate our services to they will check if it doesn't your application does not go against their policies then uh, you'll be allowed to integrate into that application if it is not then you probably may not be allowed to do so okay the last thing is closing account if you just want to close this account that you just created that was the first thing that we did if you don't want it any longer all you do is to click close account and then your account will be deactivated i mean it will be closed your account will be closed all right 
So that is just it for managing your subscriptions. So you can su subscribe to more than one product. So let's just say that I want to subscribe to collection widget. All I have to do is to go expand it and then click on subscribe. And when I click on subscribe, it'll take me to the page where I have to give the name. Then I can just say subscription widget. And uh, if I read the terms of, and then I agree to it, I click on confirm and it will take me to the panel where I have a lot of subscriptions. So now I have two subscriptions. One is the collection bills, fees, taxes, the one that we created earlier. And this is the second one, which is collection widgets. All right, using a name that will remind you of the kind of service you're using is important. If you forget what that subscription is about, you have the description over here. You can click and then view the documentation about it. 